Hi, welcome to a long-awaited update on a Toyo. Um, for those of you who are seeing this for the first time ever, my name is Rob, I am a game developer in Canada, and I'm trying to create a game called A Tavern of Your Own. It is inspired by Dungeons and Dragons when a party develops the need for a base, and they have to pick, or they get to pick, where they go. This idea is that you own, or find, or come into possession of a tavern in a fantasy setting. Your goal in the game is to increase the popularity of the tavern, to allow you to have more patrons, to allow you to eventually hire adventurers to go out and do quests for you to get new items for you, to eventually go out and do quests yourselves. You can let the tavern run itself and go out and go do specific quests to do very to get very unique and cool objects later on. Now, this is first and foremost a decoration game. Like that is entirely the idea here is like you have the tavern, it is your blank slate, you can do whatever you want to it. Eventually you can do whatever you want to it. Um, right now, we have it to the point where you can put up a limited amount of decorations. I haven't created more because I need to debug and figure out how, how the game is broken right now. Um, but all of it at the present is very European in nature. And I know there's a big push in D&D and fantasy in general right now to get away from the whole European medieval aspects, but I like it. I'm Dutch. What do you expect? Um, so, I have the game here. I'll show you what's going on, and I'll show you where we currently are. So, let's make this as big as possible. We have, this is just the game view at the moment. It's not finished. This is your tavern. It exists within the realm of nothingness, of unity. But within, you have four walls. This little nook back here, which is where basically you're going to go to save the game at the end of the day. This is where you spawn at the beginning of every day. Your bar, where you'll be able to decorate back here with, you know, kegs and bottles and cooking pots and all kind of stuff. Um, that's later. Right now, we just need to get all the decorations working. And currently, there's a couple bugs. But I also have this system. I just got the system working to allow NPCs to spawn, which then allows them to come in and order food, which I don't even remember if the ordering the food is working yet. I've been working on the game in like four months because I, I couldn't figure out the save mechanics for decorations. So let me let me recap real quickly here. I stopped working on Toyo about four months ago because I needed to find a way to save the decoration slots. I created a system that allows me to put down a decoration and all the information for that decoration, the position, the rotation, the name, uh, what array it's from, where to find it, all that kind of stuff is now saved to an object that already exists in the game. So then when it loads up, that object goes, hey, this all belongs at this spot, and it will just create a new object with all the same information at that spot. It took me four months to figure out how to do that. I figured out how to do that, and it is now working. So I'm moving on. <laughs> so I just want to get that through, like, why there hasn't been an update in four months. So, what we have, let's hit play. At present, I'm going to hit play and immediately pause. At present, um, the system for spawning NPCs is thus. You have a popularity meter which is right here you it tells you you keep your popularity is there top of the board all the time when you finally hit 10 which is not a lot it's like a table and two chairs maybe a decoration or two gets you to populate population popularity 10. once you hit 10 the npc spawner system starts and when that starts every so odd it'll spawn x amount of npcs that are determined by your popularity and a popularity multiplier. At the start, it'll be one. You won't have any additional NPCs coming in because you won't have a popular popularity that's worthy of it. Once you hit, I think I put it at 50, it goes up to times two. Once you hit 100, it goes up to, or between 50 and 100, it goes up to uh, times two. Between uh, 51 and, no, 101 and 150, it goes up to three. So once you hit those numbers with your popularity, it will start generating more NPCs, which will generate you more income. That's how the basic mechanics of the game is going to go. The better, more, pop more popular your tavern is, the more people will come to you, the more money you'll get. You need to spend that money on decorations to gain popularity, as well as food to feed your customers. Because if you can't feed your customers, you don't get gold. If you don't get gold, you can't buy items. If you can't buy items, you don't get popularity. That's the basic gist of the game. At tier one. Tier two is a completely different thing. But if we play here again, so if I hit tab, it opens up the the build menu. 
I can then go in and pick a table. I can then go in and grab a candle and let's say a chair and another chair. I'll just rotate them and then I'll exit build and I'll come over here and I will re-enter and I will put down another chair. And these are long ancient objects that I created for this game. They'll probably be improved by now. Uh, they'll probably eventually be improved. So you can see we have, we have a popular, popularity of 7. If I go to the game manager here, the NPC spawner has not started. It will not start until we hit 10. So we need to add a couple more things. Let's add, say, let's go to the table or let's add a bowl. And let's add a plate. And then let's add a knife. And then we'll add a fork. Now, you don't need to be like that far back all the time. You can be like literally right here. Oh, as you see, an NPC has spawned and found a chair. That system, let me just go into build here because it's easier to pause from here. That system is still in the works. Um, they honestly shouldn't be able to pass directly through the wall, but he might have gone around or found a different path right there. Snook in through there. I got to fix that, but it is what it is. The NPC has come in, they have gone to a chair, they have found a chair. Another NPC is literally right here. Yeah, see, they stuck in the corner there. Found a chair. Awesome. They've all found chairs. I don't know why the decorations are changing. That's weird. Is that because of me? That is because of me. What am I doing that's causing That's weird. Anyway, the NPCs have found chairs. Um, I don't know if I have the food ordering mechanic in place yet. But this is where we've gotten to so far. Why those are going off, I don't know. They should only be changing if you... If you are... If they're being interacted with by another object. I don't know what could be hitting them. Either way, I can fix that. That's something I can fix. It's good to know. Um, where... Hold on a second. NPC. Oh my god, there's so many NPCs. But there's no more chairs. How many NPCs did you spawn? Um, it should have only spawned three. And it spawned three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's probably going to spawn more. Uh, anyway, I'm going to fix that. So, I just kind of wanted to give you an update where we are. Um, and what the game is kind of coming in about. I need to start getting eyes on this, basically. I intend to have a working alpha pretty quick here. There's, you know, of course, things you see that I need to fix. Um, but I want to have tier one, which is NPCs come in, purchase food, leave. I need that to work so you can purchase items to decorate your tavern. And that will be tier one. And I'll probably post that to Steam as early access. So... We'll see what happens with that. Um, but for the moment, this is where we are. This is what we're doing. I'm going to fix uh, that hole right there very quickly. And I think then I will get on to fixing... Just seeing about getting the NPCs to order food. The, the items changing shape, that doesn't matter. That, that, that's a, that's a non-game-breaking bug. I can fix that when I get around to it. Anyways, I'm going to go. Have a good day and goodbye.